Yes. Uh, what is in the worst case in this cancer? She has completed four subjects, that's good, okay? Yes. For newly started students, yes. she has completed three to four subjects. Hmm. What we can do in this four months? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Everything is possible in any stage. We'll talk about you guys also. Do the best that you can do, yes. that you should be having in your mind. That okay, I'm having less time, but I'll not give up at this stage. No, I'll, I'll be in the worst situation that I can be. So, again, November. December. And January. Okay. So, if your situation is like you have completed three subjects. Three I'll assume that they are major subjects only. Yes, sir. Major subjects only, no? Then those are complete, like all previous year questions are done. Yes, sir. And other seven or eight subjects, previous year questions are not done. Not done. Now you come to priority, which is most important. Alright, four subject is done. Out of eight subject, from which subject most marks question you are going to get. Okay. So I'll be making a... Okay, these are my eight subjects. Alright. According to the marks, all right allotted to these subjects and then we'll pick priority that this is the subject i have to finish first then i have to finish this then i have to finish this while i'm doing that i should not be forgetting about these four subjects that are strong all right so what you need to do these four subjects do the cyclic revision cyclic, cyclic revision you have to give test series all right test series to devise these subjects so that these remain strong all right at least from this subject if it is major subject at least like 30 40 marks you can get all right is maths and aptitude included in that no. Okay. Then maths and aptitude is the first two subjects over there. How much marks question comes over there? 28. Okay. 15, 15. 15. Yes. Now maths and aptitude you cannot study in one go. Like you cannot give a chunk of time for maths and aptitude. So what you do is do it parallelly. You should be having a name that I will be finishing maths and aptitude by December. All right. Three months you are getting. Every day you are getting three hours. Is it not sufficient to finish maths and aptitude? Yeah. You will be able to do it. Maths and aptitude is gone. Now you are in a much better situation. Alright. Now comes to this. Now I will assume that this four subjects know. Let us say you took full October. Alright. But I do not want you to give only these four subjects. Now you have to make a more parallel path. Okay. That you have to focus on multiple things. Why I am saying this? Because this is what gives students confidence. Alright. Right now most likely you are not working because you do not know if it is going to work out or not. But I want you to reach a stage where you are having the confidence that you can crack this examination and that you will get by completing a sufficient amount of syllabus. Alright, so I do not want this confidence to go from you and I want you to gain some more confidence and these. Okay, so I will make some parallel paths over here. Okay, aptitude, maths, major subjects, sorry minor subjects. Okay, and this goes for major subjects. Can you do it? How can you do it? In a day, you have 12 hours. Only 12 hours. We will not study much. Okay? 8 hours, 7, seven hours you will sleep. And 5 hours you will eat. Okay? So, <laughs> so, only 12 hours you have to study. 3 hours I said that you can give it to maths and aptitude. This is how you will do. One day you will give 2 hours to maths. Second day you will give 2 hours to aptitude. The way you are comfortable. Okay? Or someday, you give all three hours to maths, next day you give all three hours to aptitude. Depends. Some students want to study continuously. They do not want their flow to break. Okay. Now, this is what we are doing. Now, the major subjects you exactly know how you to do, uh, you, how you need to do. Alright. So, I have explained now how you are going to do. How much time is it going to take? Test, uh, see, every day you revise a major subject for let's say four hours. Okay. Minus four. How much? Five hours is left. Okay. Now, two parts are already complete, right? If you study for, now you see that, okay, what can I do with this five hours? Can I distribute? Okay, I can add here, 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 or I can add here. Obviously, if, I, if you are giving five hours to major subjects, so, sorry, four hours to major subjects, a little bit lesser will be required for minor, depending of how much command you have on those minor subjects. If it is completely blind, or you are completely blank in that, then you might need that five hours. If you don't, then distribute it over here but all i wanted to show you that it is possible okay now what i want you to do is not target at 100 marks target at 70 first okay do what is necessary first and then we'll move from there 
because I want you to get that confidence first because most students are having problem over there now you know how to do the first thing you are going to do after this seminar is make a plan like this yes, then you are going to focus and make a daily routine any more questions yes, uh, is, it for, is it necessary to cover the entire syllabus before December or major plus minor important topics see obviously it will be best if you do it all okay but for doing it all we should not mess our strategy what is our strategy and whatever we did at least we should score our marks in that for that what we need we need revision we need test series right both subject wise and full length test series we need that okay so do as much as possible like this no uh, you are doing giving four hours no and in october you are giving major subjects and now you are giving sorry this will be reduced okay after that it will be reduced okay so you are having more time so start according to the priority list and as much as you can do do it you are asking when to start full length series december you should start it give one one week gap between two full length series because you need sufficient time you are doing it for the first time you have prepared before second time no okay for the first time even if you are preparing for the first time no i would say start from december because you will be panicking if you start from january okay because the first time you give test series you will be very demoralized because you will not get sufficient marks even though your preparation is good because there is a different strategy of giving test series right so you have to be well aware of that and it will take time for you to develop that <coughs> people who are very pro they can start from january already scored like 70 marks in gate examination no issues but for you this is what you should be doing if you ask the question when then december you should be starting your full length test series according to that you plan and the minor subjects no okay let's say by november i am only able to do six minor subjects do the rest divide it parallelly and do it in december no problem but do as much as you can do you should not compromise the quality all right if you maintain the quality then the then comes the priority and according to that you finish the subjects you started right now you do the best you can do if not possible you leave one or two subjects all right but that should be the subject from which the minimum amount of question comes if you study for four months and you get 80 marks no you are a winner no problem okay yes we have to write formulas only or we can write also important points see there's two things number one micro notes number two is short notes now short notes is a little bit bigger uh, i think you are having some problem with hindi no that video was in hindi that is why i'll make a english version of it or maybe this is an english version what you have to do no micro notes only formulas and short notes write those concept things that you are forgetting which you think is very important all right and that short notes is going to be a little bit bigger like around 50 pages we will consider all 12 subjects extend the material my short micro notes sorry short notes is around 5 6 pages okay like that production it is again 4 5 pages in total it will be less than 40 50 pages that you cannot revise every day but you can revise it on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis just to stay in touch the best thing about revising these notes are not it can connect everything like whatever is written into your class notes no it will open that door of in your memory regarding that concept that is the thing you have to just most of these things are psychological you just go through it you will understand okay this part i know all right so what you are asking no in micro notes only formulas and in short notes whatever concept you are having okay then it comes like exam focus notes for example gate examination which are the important formulas which are the important concepts for example isro examination they will ask compressible flow you should not study it before gate examination no or for uh, engineering services completely different level of preparation no so it should be exam focus notes if you are preparing for that specific exam then you should for example solving previous year question no you take out those important concepts and formulas and put it into that exam focus notes so three three types of notes you can make three types yes and different way of revising those notes okay for example micro notes on a daily basis or on alternate days but short notes you will not be able to do it 50 pages and plus it will be very detailed 50 pages are like 100 page i tell you guys to make it very short and in a very small font so that that again that is a botheration that you see 100 pages no you'll be frustrated first of all that you have to revise all of this so make it as small as possible and then you can carry it anywhere also 
those notes you can revise like on a weekly basis this is what i used to do i was in barc you know while going to my work or it was class only while sitting in bus i, was, I used to revise it in bus only like one or two pages i will revise while going one or two pages i'll revise while coming like that or that subject test series i'm preparing for that i have to give that subject wise test series in three days i'll be focusing on that subject short notes for example material science you need short notes for material science you are not from mechanical but material science is basically a subject in which you have to mug up few things like iron iron percentage and fcc which is fcc zinc is what copper is what you need to mug up those things or liver rule and all if you are forgetting you can put those concept and those are your short notes you revise it before your subject wise test series or you keep on revising after a week or a month like that you have to stay in touch so it's like a bigger thing you are connected to every subject by revising your micro notes and short notes you are getting into again more detail and again in short notes if you are forgetting something you will understand because every concept is covered over there no if you are forgetting something okay immediately go back and go to your class notes yes okay and bring that back the problem with most students is they go through uh, class notes again and again and they study the things that they already know and they waste a lot of time over there you cannot do that you have a limited amount of time you have to have the perfect strategy you